Von heute Block! One thing that I learned really young as a kid is I always had to finish, is finish what I started. My dad would not let me play something and quit in the middle of the season. Whenever I did my chores, I didn't leave in the middle of my chores and say, I'm, I'll get it later. You started something, I don't care what it is, as simple as doing the dishes. You finish and then you can go do whatever you want. It kind of framed the way I am now. One, I'm extremely competitive just because I learned it at such an early age and I just enjoyed being first. Well, my dad passed when I was really young and I had two older brothers, Everett and Kurt, and they were my male role models growing up and they taught me how to, to play sports and uh, beat me up here and there. <laughs> but uh, my mom was incredible, of course, raising three boys all on her own. But uh, they, they always instilled discipline and responsibility in me. And that was real important just in terms of my drive and really shooting for my goals. I was the youngest of six. I have three brothers, two sisters. They were usually the best on the team. I guess I had a lot to live up to now that I kind of think about it. Just, they were always the best. Like I said, two older brothers, Kurt and Everett, uh, always were pushing me and uh, I always had to push myself to keep up with them. I think I should be thankful that they were so good that I was, again, learning so fast at such a very young age on how to do things right and, and how to play the game right and how to motivate myself. Jeez, I mean, I got introduced to beach volleyball when I was 10, 11 years old down in Laguna Beach. We lived on the walk streets probably four blocks from the beach. If I had an opportunity to go down the beach, I was going. I fell in love with the sport right away. And uh, during the summers, I'd go down to Main Beach in Laguna and play. And in 1976, my sister was in the Olympics, 100 meter butterfly. You know, she ended up getting seventh in the world. Afterwards, I'm like, Dad, I'm going to the Olympics. And he was just like, okay, yeah, sound that, that's great and all. I always wanted to be an Olympian. I always wanted to be in the Olympics, but Beach volleyball was never an Olympic sport, so I had kind of crossed that off the list that it wasn't a possibility. You know, my dream, because I chose beach volleyball, there wasn't, potentially, there was no uh, Olympics. But of course, in uh, 1994, they decided that beach volleyball would be an Olympic sport in 1996, so those dreams uh, were revived at the time. And I was like, oh, wait a minute, maybe I could uh, be on that Olympic team, maybe I could get an opportunity to, um, you know, fulfill a childhood dream. I thought I could make the team in 1996, just two years after college, but who was I kidding, you know? I got my butt kicked in the trials and uh, had to focus on 2000. Didn't make it that time. I'm a little young. I'll get more prepared. 2000 will come along and I should be in my prime. I was looking for a partner and I said, you know, Eric's got to be the guy. We had great chemistry together. We both were on the same page and we both wanted the same things. Dane was willing to do pretty much just the same things that I was willing to do to win a match or put yourself in a position to win a match, even if it meant to give up your body for the betterment of the team. We were an aggressive team, a very, very aggressive team. We wanted to take our game as far as we could. We would hit first and probably shoot second, always. And if you blocked us once or twice, we're probably gonna come back and hit again. We're both very athletic. We're both very well-rounded. And I think the number one thing is that we're both so focused and we train so hard. I never had to worry about Eric being in shape. I knew that I was going to win the long rallies because of my conditioning, and then I was going to recover faster than you. How do you stay mentally focused for an hour, hour and a half, and try to beat your opponent? And for me, I always use those times in between rallies to regroup, reset, and to really start over. Eric's standard was much higher than any type of pressure that I could put on him. We're aggressive, we hustle. We just battled all the time internationally. 
it was a two-year process, and we knew it was going to be two years. That's just what the rules were. As it, it, it started to get down to it in 2000, we were fighting for that second U.S. spot with Karch Karai and Adam Johnson. We were close. You know, it was, it was a roller coaster. And you're just like, how, how did we get in this position? If we, you know, God forbid, not make the team, that two-year process is all for naught. We had a big challenge ahead of us because Eric and I, we were out of it at the time. And in Belgium, we had to get a top four finish or it was all basically down the drain in terms of all the work that we had put in. Dane and I, we, you know, we had our opportunities and we missed them. And what we needed to do in Belgium was place fourth or better. That was it. We were extremely focused on the mission. We went to Belgium, ended up making it to the final four and ended up finishing third and qualifying for the Olympics. And so that long, arduous process finally was completed. The drama and the experience, I mean, it was, it was a roller coaster ride that I'll never forget.